Hey guys, welcome back to B Rand's Mini CTM Float. I, uh, after finishing up the dungeon over there, I went back and got all the stuff. And here's the little heads that were in that garden. Also brought back some of this other stuff. And you notice I've got a bunch of speed, slowness, two potions here. So, uh, yeah, we'll uh, talk about those. I'll show you where I'm getting those here in just a second. But uh, yeah, I got the bang with you, so I brought those back. Um, down here, I uh, added a few more bookshelves. Uh, definitely got uh, some stuff coming on here. And of course, these are stuff that I will show you as well. Let's grab another thing. Now, here's the six iron that I got from the dungeon over there. And uh, the five iron is from killing zombies, and I'm not sure where a lot of it came from. Um, kill it, see, I, I know a couple of them came from killing zombies, maybe three of them, and then two of them I think I found in a chest. Uh, so, anyways, I've got five, so I've got enough for the block here, but I'm gonna kind of wait and see on that. You notice I've got a bunch of flaming torches here, regular torch, regular torches, more flaming torches. And these are flaming torches and again I'll show you that as well but I've been doing some work around the place that that down there is pretty much the same but I added some storage just uh, kind of keep things organized and whatnot so I've got blocks here woods there manufactured items here uh, got a jukebox and furnaces and just this is all just stuff that I've made or uh, brought back with me from the dungeon area. Uh, food going on here. Got us some steak going on. Got some fried potatoes, uh, melon seeds. These are just all the mop drops that I've gotten so far. And I can get some leads with uh, slime bombs there. And then here's the miscellaneous stuff. So cyan wool. And I should have one more. I'm not sure where it's at. But anyways, we got the one in the monument, so that's all that matters. That's the fake wall there. Uh, some dyes. So yeah, I added up some little, um, added up a storage area on top. The, I just, I, I repurposed the roof here. Uh, there used to be a skylight up here and stuff, and I just kind of repurposed it to put the, put the uh, storage area. Plus, it kind of gives me a view. You'll notice up there, there's something up there, and there's, there's a uh, teleporter pad there, so I'm not sure how you get there, but uh, yeah, so we'll find figure that out. Uh, of course, we've got this stuff over there. There's the starting place there, and I noticed that we've got some lava pouring down here. There might be something. That's that mushroom place. Uh, and of course, over here, we've got the, uh, uh, the village area. You notice I got rid of that nasty looking uh, bridge that I put across there because I didn't need it anymore. And let's see, it's getting to be dark. Here, can I sleep? Yeah, sure can. So I wanted to show you something. Uh, you can see my armor. I've got Protection 3. Uh, I've got the sunblocker armor. I've got the leather tunic, uh, just some leather pants, and then I've got some running shoes. And those are unbreaking three and I'll show you where I've been getting that stuff I'll put some stairs there as well make things a little a little nicer just kind of sprucing up the place uh, so we finished dungeon number one but I still I'm going to take you over there because I want to show you what I have been doing so we'll go over here and there's also something here I want to see. Breathless Village, that's the name of it. Well, let's go, let's go over this way. Now, uh, there's still spawners in the ground here that spawn up. They're zombies, but they're called uh, scavengers or something. I'm not, I can't remember what, exactly what they're called. Creeper blew up there. Oh, I got the hiccups. I went and had Mexican food today, which I hadn't had. I had not eaten good Mexican food in a long time, and well, it's been <laughs> it's been a long time because I haven't been able to really eat uh, food for the longest time, food period, really. But uh, yeah, I had some good Mexican food today. Gosh, I hadn't had that in a long time. 
more Tex-Mex than Mexican, really, but I like the Tex-Mex stuff. So I've got a little thing here because I've got some food growing in there because I built myself a little mop grinder here. It's real inefficient, <laughs> but it does work. Uh, these are those, uh, oh, where'd you come from? The, um, the uh, zombies here, this is where I'm getting those torches because these are those flesh runners and they drop the, they drop the um, boots, they drop the helmets and then they drop the torches. See, there's some other pair of boots there. So yeah, it's not not the most efficient thing in the world, but it does work. Let me see if we can take a peek inside here, just to kind of give you an idea. Uh, there we go. See, there's the spotter there. I just got some water that flows down there uh, because I should have, you know, did this farther out. But uh, I just kind of wanted a simple little thing to kind of just get some some experience points and, and it, it works just fine it's really nothing super fancy but I just put signs up there so if the water wouldn't flow that's just to push him down to the end down there I didn't want to spend you know making a real elaborate system there was really no point in, that, in doing that so um, yeah and then I just come down here and just whack him. so it gives me some experience and a little bit of armor and um, uh, that's where I got a couple of the um, iron bars as well uh, since I had two anvils from the uh, I think from the village right I put one here and then this is just miscellaneous junk really so yeah another bow I'll go ahead and take that uh, wooden sword I was whacking uh, string I should take that string out of the wood yeah we'll take all that and uh, what I wanted to look at today if you read the read the title of it you uh, saw that it said a little adventure and that's because I was over here uh, getting some wood uh, for the for the mob farm there and I needed to make those signs so I came over here and was getting some of this wood and I was just kind of poking around and over here I saw something that I did not see before. Now, there's that big old hole from the uh, uh, TNT, Prime TNT that was in there. But over here, and I, I, it was dark, it was nighttime when I came over here, although I did wander around this place for a long time trying to find an exit. But I never really saw this over here. I saw it, but I didn't pay attention to it. And see, we've got stairs here. And I, for some reason, I didn't notice that before. And these stairs go down this way. They kind of go up this way, but I don't think there's anything over here. At least I don't see anything over here. Can I reach over there? Not really. There's some more uh, mycelium down here, but I noticed that it went over this way. So I thought, hmm. You know, I did want to go over here and, and uh, do it off camera because, uh, I don't know, there's bound to be something here, right? So I thought, oh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to look. I'm a little scared of the skeleton. Shoot me off here. Oh. Oh, shit, right here. I just want to give myself a little bigger platform to... See, there's that. Oh, see, that's got a bunch of ores down there. Okay, that's that one we saw from the, from the other other area. Underneath. So, oh, maybe this is a way down to that. I think. I think that's what this is. I bet you. It could could very well be it. straight across it looks like it goes down somewhere this may not go anywhere <laughs> you know but I didn't want to explore it without without you guys so let's see what we got down here 
Oh, it does go down. Where does it go down to? Does it go down to that? See, there's void. I mean, it goes straight down the void there. Okay, a little bit of fall damage, but yeah, see, look at that. He's trying to be a sneaky guy, isn't he? That be red. Trying to be sneaky. Is lit up really well, which is which is good. There we go. Now we should be able to just go straight up, right? Yep, excellent. All right, so this is the way down to this little. Oh, I was wondering if that's what this was. Okay, so this is the little way down here. Now the question is. Let's, Void down here? What? Is there anything down here? Above? Oh, look at that! More iron. Awesome. Okay. Seems to be really lit up real well. There, oh, there is a chest down here. What's it say? It's all mine. There's iron. It's a lot of a lot of resources down here. Okay. I'll have to do some mining. Mine up. Mine this stuff up. Oh, look at that, a diamond, a diamond. So what, uh, see, I don't know what, what ore blocks I'm supposed to be putting in. I guess it's iron and, hmm, I'll have to look and see. Oh, look at all this stuff. Well, this is a good find. Diamonds. Well, I'm not gonna use that for anything. And a stone pickaxe, very nice. All right, that's, this is cool. This is very cool. Look at this stuff. All kinds of coal. Okay. I was trying to see if that was superficial. <laughs> I am very suspicious. Very suspicious. Well, since we've got all this iron, iron we might as well go over to the um, monument and we'll put the iron block in there so I will meet you guys over there in just a second hey guys welcome back okay I did you know what I did as I went and looked up what I needed to have in the VRAN uh, provides a little rule book and uh, I went and looked at that and I need a gold block and an iron block plus the challenge block and of course the walls so now the question is, here's our exit, right? Yeah, okay, so the question is, well, as you can see, I've got the, I've got the iron block. The question is, where does it go? Oh, that must be where the, do they go under there? I bet they, that's where they go, right? Purple wool. Yeah, they, they don't think they go on top. Yeah, that makes sense because here's where the here's where the bonus emerald block goes. Okay, so iron block, I guess we'll stick it. Which side should we stick it on? Let's, uh, uh, what do we got? Purple. Purple and gold should be on the same side. So let's do cyan. And, and is there any one? No, there's not one in the back. Okay, yeah, we're going to do this right here and... Bam! There we go. There we 
work out. The um, iron block is in place. Alrighty, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. We uh, did a little bit of exploring, a little bit of a, um, adventure. It's a... Uh, Oh, okay. So that's... Oh, so... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's what I saw from over there. Oh, it was this right here. Okay. Okay. My dog is itching over there. I hope she's not making too much noise. Yeah, that's what I saw. Okay. I didn't... Duh. Didn't make the connection there. <laughs> I'm sure B-Ran was probably laughing, saying, Yeah, dummy. That's the... That's the monument that you're seeing, that you're looking at. So, all right, cool. Well, guys, I think that's going to do it. I'm just, I'm just checking to see if there's anything else to see. There's just nothing out there, is there? All righty, so that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to go after, um, go after uh, dungeon number two, and uh, it's in that little, uh, it's in that little forested area let's see that's three right here this little nope that's one uh, this way <laughs> two i think i did i look at that and say three i bet i it's supposed to be, yeah it's two. Oh, look at that that's scary but there's is a there is a way down here there's a little teleporter thingy bobber right down there i do believe and I think we're probably going to be heading over there. That looks like that's our starting location right there. So we're going to be in the jungle. So probably a lot of mobs, a lot of stuff. This one will probably be a little bit harder than the other one, I suspect, since it's number two. And he will ramp up the uh, ramp up the difficulty. So, guys, I will see you in the next episode. As always, I appreciate it, and I will talk to you again next time. <laughs>